optometrist, you know, you get to directly help individual patients on a day-to-day -day basis, which, of course, we find very rewarding. But as a researcher, you get to help patients on a more global scale, um, which I think is really fulfilling. I think one of the most rewarding things about a career in research is I get to be an expert in a particular area. And that has sort of afforded me the ability to be able to travel the world and talk about that particular area. So I've been to Australia, China, Hong Kong, all over the world just to talk to people about the research that I do. Research sort of keeps me on the cutting edge of information. And so I, I think it really informs my interactions with my patients. So when I see patients in private practice, I, I can honestly say that I feel like I'm up to date on the most recent information and that I can educate them well and trust kind of what I'm saying because, oh, well, there was a new study last month that just came out. Um, and, but also, interactions with patients inform my decisions on what I decide to research. So um, I think it's just a really nice relationship and uh, kind of keeps me connected to both sides in a positive way. The most rewarding thing is, is seeing your graduates uh, excel, whether they're out in private practice or they become a faculty member somewhere else, um, th those are, are the greatest rewards. We think the greatest obstacle uh, for uh, graduates who are interested in research uh, is financial. So the NIH has a loan repayment program that is open to clinicians and therefore open to ODs who would want to do it and they might get all of their optometry school debt forgiven over a number of years. The other thing that people often don't realize about graduate school is you don't pay tuition for graduate school. In fact, you work during graduate school. So in our system at Ohio State, they teach in our clinic or they're a teaching assistant for labs. We pay them a stipend, which also covers their tuition. And so that's how we fund graduate education. If anybody is even Mildly considering the opportunity of going into academia and going into research, I'd encourage them to seriously look at it because uh, I can tell you from my own experience, it's about the best career one can have. I get to go into the lab uh, whatever I want and do whatever I want and answer questions that are really exciting to me. So it's, I don't know how you color that, but it's good. So what you get to do is you get to choose basically what you do in terms of research. So if you enjoy doing ocular disease, you can do research in ocular disease. If you enjoy doing epidemiology, you can do that. So really, it's anything you want it to be. I think instead what we need in optometry is people across a broad portfolio of areas, you know, ranging from immunology to pediatrics and perhaps everything in between. Because the eye, even though it's this little one inch sized organ is this um, incredibly complex window into the soul and all those fields can impact what we can learn about eyes and vision and how we might change patient care in the future.